The Episcopal Congregation of St. John the Divine dates back to Moorhead's founding as a Wild West Railroad town in 1872. It began with 21-year-old pharmacist Benjamin Mako reading sermons in boxcars and tents. As the town grew, so did the congregation. In 1898, Moorhead's Episcopalians decided they needed a new, bigger building. Benjamin Makel and W.H. Davey asked an architect acquaintance of theirs to design a church for them, and for the low fee of $175, they got the plans for a beautiful Elizabethan Gothic church. Their friend was Cass Gilbert of St. Paul, the most important architect in Minnesota history, and by the time he died in 1934, he was hailed as the greatest American architect of his generation. The Episcopal Church is what Americans call the Church of England. It's common where English colonists settled on the East Coast, but the Northern Plains were settled overwhelmingly by Scandinavians and Germans at the end of the 1800s. Perhaps more so than anywhere else in the U.S., our region is dominated by Lutherans and Catholics. Episcopalians are pretty rare. And as the years went on, the congregation of St. John the Divine grew older, grayer, and smaller struggling to keep its doors open. Then the Sudanese came. For the past few decades, Sudan has been plagued by civil war. Millions of Sudanese people have died from violence and famine, and millions more fled for their lives and became refugees. Fargo-Moorhead has been a refugee resettlement community since the end of World War II offering a safe new home for people displaced by violence. About 600 Sudanese refugees were resettled in Fargo-Moorhead between the mid-1990s and early 2000s, and most of them came from the southern Christian region of the country. Because Sudan was once part of the British Empire, most Sudanese Christians are members of the Church of England, or, as we call them around here, they're Episcopalians. The Fargo-Moorhead Sudanese community felt welcomed by their fellow Episcopalians in Moorhead, and they chose St. John the Divine as their new spiritual home. The struggling church was suddenly injected with dozens of young families. The congregation of St. John the Divine still worships in Moorhead's Cass Gilbert masterpiece, with services in English, Dinka, and Arabic. <laughs>